Hi guys, my name is Barro Dante. So, as I said in the latest tutorial, I'm planning to take a little bit of a break from tutorials and actually spend some time painting some stuff of my own for a while. Like actual original paintings the way I did in the early episodes of this channel before people started asking me for tutorials. So yeah, really excited, really looking forward to what awesome stuff we'll do on this channel soon. I think as of right now, I've said pretty much everything I had to say about the way I paint. Just don't want to repeat myself over and over again, so if you guys want to see some actual tutorials, just watch the previous videos. Fun fact, I actually never seen this channel as some kind of a school of any sorts. I just wanted to paint over and over again all kinds of stuff and just see what happens. That's why it says let's paint on the cover of this channel. It's like a wordplay for the let's play genre. Only instead of games, I play art. To make it clear, this is not like a huge change to the channel or anything like that. I've been doing this without any announcement every now and then, but right now I feel like there's a pretty massive point where I've set a huge deal of a breakthrough. I described it to you guys with all the no silhouette technique and whatever, and uh, everything I knew about the lighting, I've been saying all of that since the episode one, literally. I really love the latest three, four part tutorial that we did recently with the whole bigger brush size exercise. I think it really brought a certain message that I wouldn't be able to send you guys without actually giving you homework. One really has to try it themselves to figure out that it really is a different thing when you work this way. But anyway, there's a lot of things to say. I've been doing a lot of tutorials on this channel. While I'm really proud of all my tutorials, they all miss one key moment, one secret on how to use all of these videos. It's about something that kind of makes me ache a little bit when I read your guys' comments. You all understand well what I say, you figure it out properly, but you kind of like project it the wrong way on yourselves. Many of you, I'm not saying all of you, of course. So here goes. The secret is pretty much about the attitude. Kind of an inspirational video, whatever you want to call it. The key thing to learning any kind of tutorial on any kind of skill-dependent activity, it's about watching the master's work and do exactly what you see right now. I don't mean that you have to exercise during watching the video. I mean, after you watch the video or whenever you want, don't think that you are so far from that level of whoever you're watching and that you have to just work day after day a little bit to get better. No, think about it this way. I can do it the same way this master does it right now. Think about it. You have the same hands, the same eyes as any master out there that paints the best thing ever. Generally, painting is a kind of skill that's only dependent on how you think about what you do. I don't have a better trained fingers or eyeballs or anything like that. It's exclusively in my head. If I somehow would switch bodies with any of you guys, your body would paint exactly the way I do. This is why I don't like the 10,000 hour rule. There's nothing wrong with this idea in general. It makes sense, it's sort of realistic. But this rule is wrong as something to say to a student, to someone who's still learning. It makes us think that our goal is that far away, making it even further away. It slows you down. When really, if you think about it, the goal can be one day away. It's only up to you how long it'll take. The key thing about practicing is that it's not just repeating and trying to do a little bit better than yesterday, the way I used to think like five years ago, back when I was really progressing rather slowly in my skill. It helped me with my artistic ego that I wasn't bummed out and devastated that I'm not super awesome the way really cool artists are. But I really started growing a lot faster when I gave up on that ego and just started learning looking directly at the work of masters and I was trying to do exactly that awesome goal skill level that I was looking at. You have to go for the very best every single day. Oh, and I don't mean work hard, like spend a lot of time, effort, and do a lot of details in your artwork or anything like that. No, what I mean is work smart. Again, this is not powerlifting, you're not training your muscles. Watch. Analyze. 
pause any video and paint the same thing. Try to do it as good if not better. If you think that something would look better to your taste, do it that way. No need to actually purely copy anything. Copy the skill level. Learn the process. Copy my artwork if you want. It's called studying artists and it's a very helpful thing. But yeah, don't just copy the result, copy the process. The right way is the easy way. If it's hard for you, then you're doing it wrong. Rethink and start over. It has to be easy and fast. It's only about keeping your thinking simple about the piece you're working on. That's why working in one layer is important. As I mentioned a lot in my latest 100 videos, I really appreciate the work of Ruan Jia. Ruan Jia. Ruan Jia. Also, Wei Feng is another Chinese artist that I learned a lot from. I'm really inspired with their art style, with the way the result looks like, which is a number one rule to choose your master by, I guess. If you like what they do, then feel free to learn it. I studied Ron Jeff for the first time about three years ago. I created this. It wasn't perfectly like the original work, obviously. Ronja's work with colors is amazing. It's really hard to match that so easily. But I really felt like I tried something that I was only looking at before and praising it. But right now, I like stepped in that direction myself and it really like clicked something in my head. It really feels like it's super important to do that, like to not just watch and listen, but try it yourself. Just shooting for the very highest level that you're looking at. Do it the same way. Forget about the skill you have, it's not important at the moment. Like, imagine you're actually the person that you're trying to achieve the level of. So after that first study of Ruan Jia, I did about three, four more studies of his work, but not copying the artwork pretty much at all. I was only copying the process, watching his rare videos on YouTube and elsewhere. And every time I had one thought in my head, I can do it on the same level of skill right now. It had to be as pretty, as impressive, and as simple for me to do. Because when you're looking at the work of a real professional, a very skilled artist, they're never struggling, they're never building up a lot, they're not like using tons of layers, they just do it right away. Why not just try and copy exactly that, I thought. And so I did. So if you're still wondering what ideas I collected from studying Ron Jia all this time, well, the previous hundred videos are all about that. So yeah, this is it. With this said, watch me paint a lot of original artwork soon on this channel. I will leave you today with one ultimate homework for any video I ever post, except for the ones where I just talk like right now. If you're really here to learn, watch my process and try to do the same thing on the same level of skill. And feel free to send me the result anytime ever preferably on Twitter. I really wanted to make this video to explain this important thing to you guys because this is actually the same way I am learning for the last four years or something. I don't just watch advice and looking at the process, I'm actually trying to figure it out and build my own process based on that, taking the best part of it that makes it easy and most impressive. And this is why I'm planning to post future videos in pairs. I'll be posting episodes the way I always did on this channel, painting and talking about it, reading your guys' comments and doing something with the composition if it's a several episode painting. And the second video will include the full process in slow time-lapse mode, maybe an hour long with just music, no commentary, for you to look at and to learn from, if you want to. I know not everyone has the kind of mindset, the kind of way of thinking as I do, so maybe it's not enough to have just process to look at, to learn from, but actual pure silent time lapses from the very beginning to the end are the kind of material I always use to learn myself, so I think this will be a great addition to the normal kinds of episodes that we always have. Super excited to start working with the original artwork on this channel. I think I really improved the level of skill that I used to have the last time we had like an actual original artwork on this channel, at least a year ago, I think. So yeah, I really hope it's gonna turn out really cool and impressive. And on that note, 
I thank you for watching if you did. I guess you did if you are here. Leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Watch, analyze, and do the same thing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Boy, that would be embarrassing if all of you guys will get better than I am.